Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a new video. It's actually going to be a one brand first impressions. So if you guys are interested in finding out my thoughts about Arbonne, then please stay tuned. So for those who are new to my channel, welcome. I know I've gotten a few new subscribers lately, so thank you for joining the family. And for those who aren't subscribed yet, hit the button down below. That's gonna help you stay up to date with all my new videos. So I am so excited to be doing a one brand first impressions. So my friend Bonnie gave me the opportunity to try Arbonne Cosmetics. I am going to put her link down below. She can certainly help you out if you would like to try any of the products. So Arbonne is one of those catalog companies. They actually don't sell their products in a store. So you would have to order off the website or find a representative that can help you out. Um, so Arbonne is an interesting company. She did give me some background information. So a fun fact she gave me is that anything that is put on your skin is absorbed and in your bloodstream within 26 seconds. That's actually crazy because a lot of those things we do use on a day-to-day -day basis. I know personally, I don't really look at the ingredients of my makeup. Sometimes I buy stuff and the ingredients isn't even on there. So that's actually crazy. So that's how um, I know Arbonne is a really good company. They do look at things like that. Um, they use a lot of natural things like their lipstick is infused with natural butters and watermelon and apple extracts. Um, their bamboo is, or their mascara is made with bamboo, smells like roses and is nourishing. And I guess it does lengthen lashes over time. So they definitely do have a really high standard for their products. So I'm just going to go through, um, this is not the look I did with Arbonne. Um, it's a different background and things like that. My camera died and then it was dark and it was just a disaster. So um, I am filming on a different day. That's why I'm wearing a different outfit, different makeup look. But uh, yeah. So if you guys are interested in finding out what I thought, then... Okay, so I'm just going to begin with the primer. So I actually tried this before and I wasn't actually crazy about it, but... I don't know, it's fall now. I find my skin's always changing, so. I'll give it a whirl. So the primer reminded me of the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer, actually. Um, so next step is the foundation. So there's the foundation on right here. Um, I'd say it's kind of like a medium coverage. It's not full and it's not a light coverage. Um, it's covered up some redness I had, which was really good around my mouth. Um, it was a little difficult to blend. Like you really have to blend it in. It's not kind of seamless. Um, it's really like a liquidy formula too. I'm kind of used to um, what I've been using lately, the Milan foundation and um, the L'Oreal Visible Lift Pro. Um, they're kind of like thicker in consistency, so they're a little bit easier to blend out. Um, this was a little bit more runny, but I think it still looks pretty good. I think my face looks kind of flawless, so. Um, yeah, it covered over my dark circles a little tiny bit. Um, the coloring is a little bit too dark, but I guess it kind of fits in with my skin. So what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my eyes. So I got two palettes to try out. This one is Buff, or Bluff and Sequoia. So those are like two kind of pretty browns and that I'm just going to swatch them quickly. They seem quite pigmented. Yeah, look at the pigmentation on that. It's very nice. I'll try this one. It might be good for like a... Ooh, that's a really nice brown, kind of goldy color. Would be really nice as a highlighter. 
Um, I also got another palette as well, so that has Henna, Aurora, Canyon, and Dawn. So she had a few palettes for me to choose, but I decided these ones. So that's what it looks like, and there's a little mirror as well. Yeah, they're kind of like shimmery mattes, that's the only thing. Um, none of them are really like a transition color, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll make it work. Um, here's an eye makeup primer, so I actually didn't know they had that. I like how it goes on really, um, pretty, like there's no kind of like sparkle to it. I find that happens often with eyeshadow primers I use. So I'm gonna use this kind of brown color right here. It is called Canyon, so I'm gonna use that as kind of my transition shade. So I'm gonna put that into my crease. It actually kind of reminds me of Cocoa Bear, so that's kind of cool. So there it is so far. Um, not too bad to blend. It's actually not as pigmented on the eye as I thought it might be, um, but it is very good to blend out. It's kind of like coming out as like a purpley color on my eyelids. But... So the next color I'm going to use is this darker brown. That is called Henna. And I'm just going to kind of uh, put it into my outer V. So I have this color, and now I'm going to use that to put on my actual lid, and then I'm going to do something fun with the purple in a bit. So that's the eye look. So the eyeshadows are really nice, um, they're very pigmented. I like kind of the look I created. This pa this one I would recommend for just like a, this palette. It doesn't have like a full name, um, but I would recommend this if you're just looking for kind of neutrals, so to go to work, um, that kind of thing. I do like how it really turned out. Um, so next, I usually do concealer, so. They actually have concealer like this, so. on and here's one eye without it I'm actually not seeing a big difference um, I do need liquid concealers I only use these to color correct but um, yeah I look pretty I'm not kind of feeling this kind but that's okay this would probably be better for someone that doesn't have dark circles and you know they're just maybe spot Ceiling. I think it would be really good for that. Just gonna kind of put it on the bridge of my nose. Okay, it's very messy. It's gotten all over my shirt. So it's very messy powder. Okay, so now to let this bake. So now it is brow time. And so they have a brow pencil and I have the color, I believe it's like dark brown. Doesn't actually say, um, but, ooh, it has a spoolie on one side and then the brow on this side. So, um, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a brow whiz idea. Um, the only thing is it's not as precise as a brow whiz, so I have thicker brows, so that might actually be a good thing for me. So I'm just gonna use my own spoolie. Okay, 
Okay, so here's one brow done, and here's the other not done. So it really makes my brows kind of more bold. Uh, it was pretty, actually, it was very easy to move the product around. I find a lot of products, I do have problems with that. Um, so I'm really liking this brow pen so far. Um, if it was just a little bit more precise, it would be a little bit easier, but it's pretty good. this brow pencil I think it gave lots of definition to my brow um, very easy to move and perfect for your on-to-go um, you're on the go it's like the perfect brow product uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is to bronze up my face um, they don't actually have like a contour powder right now so I'm just gonna use this bronzer. You don't have to contour every day anyway. Um, so this is the bronzer. This is, it just says bronzer. So I guess they don't have different kind of colors, but it's kind of like a gray brown anyway. So it will be good to contour. Um, so let's see how easy this is to blend. So the bronzer actually, you can see a little bit of definition, but it's not really dark enough for me. Um, I do find, sorry, my cat's being really loud. I don't know what he's upset about. Um, but I do find it's not that dark. I don't know if they have different kinds of shades, um, but I'm not even really that dark. So anybody that is darker than me is not gonna be able to use this bronzer. Um, it did blend out really quick. Um, really easily and it did look like it had like kind of some sparkles in it um, but I don't see it looks pretty matte on my face so yeah it wasn't too bad to use uh, so just going to blush on I actually really like this color blush it's really pretty it's like kind of that demure blush look it's not like hot pink right in your face this is in the color sunset so I really like this one it's nice easy to blend I know this sounds weird but I really like how these products worked for my nose contour so now I'm gonna unbake my face and I think it looks pretty good it's just this and this the dark circles but I'm kind of not surprised uh, so the next thing I've kind of used everything here is highlight so this is a liquid highlighter and you guys know how much I love to highlight so let's see how this works so the highlights pretty demure um, pretty conservative so maybe it could be like a good highlighter for somebody that doesn't like to highlight or they just want a little bit of like a brightener on their face it's kind of not on my highlight level but it's it really kind of messy too yeah it's kind of hard to blend in actually I feel like it's kind of messed up my bronzer and my blush Yeah, this highlight, um, I'm going out to brunch after this, so I'm probably gonna have to put on like my regular highlight. Um, might be like a good base, but it's kind of not for me. Um, but that's, you know, what these things are do to, um, for, you know, to try different products. It would be nice probably to like mix in with your foundation in the summer, just to give you like a little bit of glow. Or maybe even if you had a foundation that was too dark for you, it's gonna help with that. Uh, so the next thing for me to try, I guess would be, oh yeah, I wanted to spruce up my under eye a little bit. So I'm gonna use this purple just to give me the perfect pop of color. This looks pretty kind of conservative, so. Yeah, 
so I think the purple under eye is just kind of like that fun pop. It's not too extreme, but you know, if you look at me up close, you're gonna see it. Um, so everything is done but lips. So there is this lip treatment. So I'm kind of intrigued to use this because I have such dry lips lately and it's driving me nuts. I've been applying my lip oils before I go to bed, but I'm still waking up with dry lips. It smells super good, like something from my childhood, but I cannot remember. And I almost forgot mascara. Ugh. Okay, so let's take a look here. My camera's like dying, so I'm rushing here. Mascara is really nice. Makes my lashes look super long, which I love, and volumizing. So, this mascara is called the. It's a long story, so totally understand why it's called that. So, this is the completed makeup look. So, I really like it. Um, it's really like a natural, kind of glowy look, um, something I usually don't do. And uh, yeah, so this was the look that uh, So I hope I you guys enjoyed my video. That was the finished look with Arbonne Cosmetics. And also let me know if you guys have tried an Arbonne product before. I really like the brow pencil. I actually have that now for my personal stash. I like the eyeshadow, the lip intelligence treatment, the mascara, and the blush. It was super pretty. Um, so if you guys have any questions about the products or if you'd like to buy any, I will leave Bonnie's link down below. She's really nice, really friendly, and would love to answer any questions that you guys have about the products. Um, their skincare is really awesome as well. I gave that to my mom for Christmas and she absolutely loved it. So let me know if you guys have tried any Arbonne products or what your thoughts are. And also don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And I thank you so much for your love and support and I hope you have a wonderful day.